Dear ladies and gentlemen, your excellencies, and thank you for the invitation. Today, we all know that the we are no, uh, know that the sustainable infrastructure is crucial for the society, for the development of the community, the digitalization, and also the development of the Arctic. The resources in Arctic, like fish, minerals, oil and gas, are needed a need of the infrastructure, a sustainable infrastructure for digitalization. And I will try to give you a little brief view about the local and regional uh, opportunities and demands. To utilize the resources we have in the Arctic, we need the digitalization as the rest of the world, like Europe, America, and also the rest of the world. We need the infrastructure to the digitalization to make the economy more efficient, to work more efficient, and so on. In the Arctic, we have the green power. As Eder said about the data centers, we are using a lot of energy, and the green power we have in the Arctic uh, is provided or used to the zero emission data centers. The hydrogen uh, power is zero emissions. But lack of subsea cables is a disadvantage for the region to provide these data centers. As you can see, this Arctic subsea cable, like Yucapeca told you about, we have both local and global benefits of it. The Arctic will benefit of the global traffic and economy in that traffic and the global industry will benefit of the shorter route through the Arctic. In the northernmost part of Norway, Troms and Finnmark, we have an extended network, fiber optic network. And we want to do the society more efficient with the digitalization but we make more vulnerable as well. One single cable could break. So we are in need of diversity and redundancy in the network. If one cable is breaking, it could take days and weeks to repair it. So how do we do this? A lesson learned from the strategic work to build this infrastructure. You need to have a long-term view of the investment. You have to think about the whole society, from education, healthcare, search and rescue in the sea, There is no short-term investment. So, yes, okay, sorry. Yes, so you have to think in long terms. Uh, we are in need of public and private uh, partnership working together. The society, the government, need to think about the society and the long terms. How will we have the education for the children, the university? We could use this infrastructure as well to research and development in the Arctic, collecting uh, data, and all these data need to transport to the computers and, and stores to, to uh, analysis. So for that, 
I give the word back to you, Hedal. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes.